all of these films have the ultimate bad guy, which is the Emperor. But in addition to that, there's the sidekick, be him Darth Vader in episodes four, five, and six, Darth Maul in episode one, or Count Dooku in episode two. So we're always trying to work with a sidekick, an apprentice to the Dark Lord. <laughs> all right, what scares you, Ryan? Yeah. Alien. Death. death. No, I, I would say most people are afraid of death. Yeah. And death like imagery. And I, I think what made Alien scary was no eyes. Like teeth. But this thing no, has to act. No taste. It's not oh, yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Around. That's what was scary. Most For people me, are afraid well, of insects. Insects, yeah, I, eyes, mandibles, teeth like that. Yeah, and he didn't seem like a, he was opposed to it actually being a droid or not being right. a droid too. So it, it could be a number of things. As long as it's scary. That's yeah. what he said. I looked around the room, I saw a lot of things that looked evil, and so I'm gonna try exactly the opposite. I'm gonna try things that look really very beautiful. When I was in the bathroom, I happened to be looking at this uh, spray bottle from the top view, and I kinda, kinda saw a face in there, kind of like, maybe these could be the eyes, and this could be some kind of interesting mouth. And so that's a kind of, just kind of a way to, to play around with it. And you could, you know, as you go, you could change things around and make things around, and things evolve from there. This is kind of going back to that more of a standard general kind of pose, but I'm still not satisfied with it. It's like a poster. Yeah, it does have a bit of that. If I'm doing something like this and I want to understand the pose better, I can stand here and do that until I get back far enough. You know, and I can actually try out variations on it. I can put some lighting on it. I can see. You know, what's the most dramatic thing for the pose I'm trying to do? It's really embarrassing sometimes when you forget you're in a room with people and you're... How old is he then? I don't know. Eight. And maybe he doesn't have to be human. There's so many ways you could slice it. Yeah. <laughs> but I like that shape. those in in the next 45 minutes. Ah! It's zero hour, it's go time, baby. Oh my goodness. This is a phone core, both vertical, side by side. The wall, they are. We're gonna have to Come on down. Oh, Cheers. <laughs> That's our art department. Yeah. For Grievous, once again, we're creating an animated character that doesn't exist and trying to present that to George as, here's your choice of actor. Aha. Who would you want? Surprise! Yeah. bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if there's anything here that takes you fancy. I'd be kind of careful that we don't recreate Darth Vader here since he sort of shows up at the end of the movie. Although, the ultimate <laughs> Scary guy, a kid. He's a video Spoken. Player, Is somebody a parent? <laughs> the ones I like the most. I like these one and these one. And I could like these if we went with droid. Some of this gets a little devilish. Mm -hmm. So it, it's got to be threatening. It's got to be something. It, that, I don't want it to be Darth Vader like. I don't, you know. This at least you really know it's a droid. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see more, or do you want to well, develop these? Well, well, you have a chance to develop these. I mean, you can see some more. If anybody's got any ideas, I've always opened ideas. Okay. The art department team, I think I've described before, is very much like a jazz band ensemble, where you know when it's your time for the drum solo. At the last minute, that I had one little sketch I had started before for an idea for the Droid General. We had a little bit of time yet, so I just finished markering it up and I handed it over to Ryan Mendoza. And sure enough, like during the meeting, George went straight to that one and said, this is the one. This guy, with this has human eyes, or not human, but animal eyes, that you know would move around, you'd actually get to see the whites and get to see that it's an actually organic thing, which might be really ugly. I came up with the idea of General Grievous as a leader of the Droid Armies. He's kind of a a little bit of an alien in a droid shell, which is sort of an echo of what Anakin is going to become. Warren's actually made the icon from this film. 
but you don't know what it means. And I kept telling him, remember what that felt like, because you're going to be telling that story for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm.